To manage the pod's lifecycle, we can use a resource called ReplicaSet. The job of a replica set is to maintain a stable number of pod copies, or also called replicas. The replica controller or the replica set controller will guarantee that a specified number of identical pods will be running at all times. Uh, the number of these replicas is controlled by a field called replicas. So let's say we start with a single pod and we want to scale to five pods. Uh, the single pod, once we create the single pod, will be the current state of the resource in the cluster. And the five pods that we want to get to once we scale up will be the desired state. The replica set controller uses this current and desired state to go and create four more pods in our case to meet this desired state, which is five pods. The replica set will also keep an eye on the pods. So if you scale the pods up or down, if you add a replica or if you remove a replica, uh, the replica set controller will do all that's necessary to meet the desired number of replicas. To create the pods, the replica set uses the pod template that's part of the resource definition. So how does the replica set know which pods to watch for and which pods to control. Now, every pod that gets created by a replica set can be identified by the owner references field that's in metadata of the created pod. This field specifies which replica set owns the pod. So if any of the pods owned by the replica set get deleted, the replica set will know about it and it will act accordingly. So it will go and in our case, recreate the pod. The replica set also uses the selector object and match label field uh, to check for any new pods that it might own. So if there is a new pod that matches the selector labels, and it doesn't have an owner reference set or the owner is not a controller, for example, we've manually created the pod, the replica set will take it over and start controlling it.